I'm Nick Parsons, Year 12 at King's College, and today I want to find out what it's like to be a driller. Drillers assemble and position drilling rigs to extract ore, liquids, or gases from the earth. Drilling is a diverse industry and there are opportunities to work all over the world, from on the water to the top of mountains. And this means drilling in a range of climates, rain or shine, from the snow to the desert. But today, Nick is in Takanini, Auckland at the New Zealand branch of Bort Longyear, the world's largest drilling company, to meet veteran driller Paul Frandy for his first test of the day. A young fella rocks up at the door. I look for somebody who's got a good handshake, a real tough handshake. Hello, Nick. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, Paul. It was pretty good. It surprised me, yeah. So, um, wasn't weak at all. <laughs> That's a safe handshake, but drilling can be dangerous. So, health and safety is a key part of being a driller. And after a thorough induction, Nick steps into his protective hey, drilling gear. Oh, I feel like a driller already. So, Nick and Paul are off to a secret location to do a confidential ground exploration. But there's one thing Paul can tell us. OK, Nick, you're looking pretty clean. Let's say we get you dirty. Bring it on. <laughs> this is what drilling's all about, Nick. Yeah. Being outside in the uh, outdoors. In the wet weather. For every location, there's a safety briefing to keep drillers safe from hazards on site. But to keep other drillers safe from Nick, he's walking around with a warning sign on his head. It's all cool to know that you're a, a team buddy, and he knows that you're a bit of a green hat, so he'll help you out as much as he can. All trainee drillers wear green hats until they're qualified. Grab that sieve there. Sure. Just put it up underneath that water there, and we'll um, have a look and see what's coming up. This site is exploring the formation of the earth below. Water is pumped down the piping, which then flushes up clay and rock from deep underground. We'll go through about four or five different formations as we start. We'll start off here with some clays, then with some mudstones, and then we'll go into the limestones. OK. Once we get past this limestone here, Nick, um, we'll get back into the papa, which is um, made up of an old seabed, and we'll get fossils, shark's teeth, shells. Oh, really? What's the uh, maximum you know, length it'll get to? Um, this hole will go to 450 metres. This is what uh, makes your muscles uh, lick. You feel the you way know, it goes. Bicep killer. Yeah, well, if you do about six or seven of those every five minutes, um, that'll soon get you your know, muscles going. Hard tools for hard men. That's the one. And they only get bigger. Yeah, mate. So dear. <laughs> <laughs> And now it's time for the heavy work of attaching another length of piping to the shaft. Screw it in. Screw it in. Which will push the drill further underground. It's not the lightest thing I've ever, ever lifted. After a couple of days, that'll get your wrist going, boy. <laughs> but for a green hat, it's dangerous work. And Nick's nerves don't help. I want you to grab this rock. Just, okay. just, just take it naturally. And guide it into that hole? Yep. Good boy. Just give it a wind up there, Nick. Nerve wracking to start off with, but I mean, I got the hang of it. It was actually quite, I really enjoyed it. So that protects you from getting wrapped up in that door pipe. Just spins you around there. With the new length of piping on, Nick will try to drive the drill deeper. Yeah, we've got our pump pressure. We're sitting at 100 psi at the moment. But it's skilled work. And if he lets the rig drill too quickly, he could cause a pressure blowout or cook the clay solid, jamming up the hole. But that's not what Nick has on his mind. It's quite cool how I can explore a kilometre underground, you know. You've seen all the, you know, the fake things, you know, go right underground. But it's quite interesting to think that you actually, this is actually so far underground before, but whatever's down there, you know, because we actually don't know what's down there. It's just soil and, well, could be anything. It's a bit more intense than what I'm used to, you know. It's real work, I suppose. The next drill site is in Auckland, where Marshall Cairo shows Nick how to extract an underground core sample that will be analysed for future construction. Got it. <laughs> Marshall is training for a certificate in drilling with Excito, the Extractives Industry Training Organisation. Excito supports trainees like Marshall and more advanced drillers while they gain drilling qualifications. The benefits of getting qualified is to make you a far more valuable employee to uh, your employer. 
It enables your earning power to grow as you go through your qualifications and succeed. And successful Kiwi drillers travel the world earning money with their qualifications. Kiwi drillers are held in very high esteem globally. Often when a, a drilling company learns that it's a Kiwi driller, they're in. There are a lot of opportunities in drilling, but Nick will work from the ground up with a core sample. Looks a bit like the colour of ash. It looks like concrete. Why are the two different colours? This one is soft sediments, yep. and this one is marine sandstone. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's been down there forever. <laughs> cool, <laughs> awesome. Yeah. The core samples are then analysed by a geotechnician. Gonna go down to the mark. Oh, OK. Yep. So. Kane Hanna is a driller on the site and has been with Port Longyear for 18 months. It's a big team effort for um, when you're working on site, especially when there's only two of you or three of you. You're always watching out each other's backs, make sure everything's OK. Um, what sort of rewards do you have? Oh, getting paid. And he's not kidding. Senior drillers and drilling supervisors, who usually have more than six years' experience, can earn between $60,000 and $80,000 per year. And when drilling in exotic locations, or when drilling hydrocarbons like oil, gas and coal, the pay can go well into six figures. I do like my job, yes. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm glad I um, applied for the job at Longyear. Yeah, it's one of the best decisions I've ever made. For Nick, the world awaits. But does he have what it takes? Certainly I'd give him a job. Yeah, good young fella. We'll train him up. I'm used to it now. Feel like a real driller. <laughs> There are no specific entry requirements to enter a career as a driller and qualifications can be gained on the job, earning while you're learning. In your first six months, you will get your safety certificate and heavy vehicle licence. Excito, the Extractives Industry Training Organisation, will support you while gaining drilling certificates from Level 2 through to Level 5. And with every higher level of certificate comes a higher pay bracket. The pay for drillers is very good and there is a large shortage of drillers, but to be a driller you need to be physically fit and enjoy working outdoors. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.